Well met fellow Star Travelers, welcome back to Moonshadow Fantasy. I am your host, Macarios Moonshadow, coming at you live and in color with my version of the Variant Dungeons. Paths only, no boss spoilers, because they're really, really fun to just learn on your own. The mechanics are not hard. We've done this with just two DPS. We've done this with uh, your typical party of four. We've done this with just three, one healer, one tank, one DPS. So it's fun to switch it up. You can change your role at any time that you want to. Uh, while you're in here, just bring the appropriate actions. You can change them as well while you're in there. And this is a really fun time, a really fun farm. So there's three doors. Behind each door are four different paths you can take, and they all boil down to one room or another that will change how you proceed towards the very end. All right? The last boss will change, and then the middle bosses that you get to uh, in between there will have a a slightly added different mechanic to the fight. And that's it. So this first path, so door on your left, all boils down to this room where there's going to be two pedestals and some sacks that we're going to put on top. To get to door, to path number one, the sacks that are on the far northeast corner, which is a green one, and the far southeast corner of the, up, up against the wall, are the two quote-unquote correct sacks. So the, for the first one, you're going to put the correct sacks on the pedestals. You're going to walk through, and the Sultana's going to take you to this mini, little mini gate, which you wanted to walk to first, and on your back right-hand corner is going to be this little door, secret door. Open that door to get through the first path. Don't open the door to get to the second one. Then for room paths three and four, you're going to put any other sacks on these pedestals, which is, which is what we're doing here. Any other sacks is fine, just make it random. And after that, you're going to see a bunch of puff balls on the ground. You're going to walk over the puff balls to get to path number three, and don't touch the puff balls to get to path number four. That's it. Those are the four paths for this first one. Um, I wasn't able to get a screenshot or a video of the secret door, but it's really straightforward. You just walk through. You'll it's a, it'll the room will look different when the door opens. They won't have the puff balls behind it. Um, but you will see a towards the back left of your screen if you turn this little door. Wait for her to walk up to the to the gate first. Then you can open the door or not. So then we're going to move on to path number two, which is the middle door. So this next one is going to be for paths. 8, 9, and 10. This is the middle door at the beginning, the very beginning when you go through it. And it's all about this uh, middle pedestal and the small statues. So what you're going to do is there's the the correct order and the incorrect order, right? So the scales of judgment is the middle pedestal, and the pans on the left and right are for the little mini statues. If you want to do this in order for path um, 8 and 9, what you're going to do is put any combination that is not the helmet or the fruit, so just make it wrong, or nothing at all, and a door on your right will open. You go through that, and there'll be a little lever on your left. You click on that, and you push the right lever for path number 8, the left lever for path number 9, and then when it's time for you to do paths 10 and 11, you will come in here and put the helmet on the left pan and the fruit on the right pan. The Sultana will then open a little teleporter, which are the Scales of Judgment from the Agalia Nalthal raid, right? And after that, there'll be some adds and two huge statues of Null and Thal. You pull uh, the Null statue on the left for path 10, and on the right, the Thal statue for path 11. Here's what it looks like for just the, uh, for the incorrect pans, for putting the wrong things in there. Again, anything but the Helmet of the Fruit will get you to this right path this right hand door and that's about it so no spoilers for boss fights because again they're really really fun to learn and yeah helmet on the left fruit on the right to get to the null and thal statue so these are your last four paths for door on the right you probably guessed by now that we skipped some paths in order from 1 through 12 but if we did it in order 1 through 12 it'd get really confusing because every door has their own specific areas for paths. So once you get to this part, 
you're going to click on the lever and it's going to ask you if you want to go left or right. Again, this is all for door number, door on the right. If you click the left path, you'll go all the way to the end. And the statue at the end will ask you if you want to pick option for spark or an option for flame. Spark is path number five. Flame is path number six. Now, if you click this and go to the right, it's going to be your final two paths number seven and 12. So you're going to kill some ads here and you're going to deal with some drakes, some drake ads after these ads here. You're going to stand in the hallway and just mark them one through five. You want to kill them for both paths in order from biggest to smallest. So what we did is we stood in the hallway, we marked them, don't use your AOE attacks and just kill the biggest one, you know, smallest to large, uh, biggest to smallest. That's the order. Largest to smallest. And then after that, you're going to deal with some, some wraiths, and you're going to grab an incense off the wall on the right. After that, you grab your incense, then you're going to come to that same statue that you saw when you were uh, clicking on the spark and the flame thing. Only this time you have an incense to add to it. And for path number seven, you're going to do uh, nothing. You're just going to place the incense and go on. And for number 12, your big boy last final boss, is you have to do a series of emotes. So one person walks up to the statue before clicking on it, before clicking on anything, and you're going to do the series of emotes. You're going to bow, forward slash bow, forward slash respect, forward slash V pose, which is a victory, your victory pose, and then forward slash kneel. In that order, wait a couple seconds in between each, maybe like two seconds in between each emote, and then you pause for a brief seconds. Not pause for a brief second. Not uh, the sultana will come out and say, give you some dialogue and say, "Oh my God, you did it right!" And then once she gives you that dialogue that you've done it correctly, then you can click on the statue, place that incense, and move forward to do the final boss, which is. The one and only time you'll see this boss is through path 12. It's a doozy. It's really fun to learn though on your own. Uh, there's just a lot of AOEs. No, nothing, no mechanics that you haven't seen before. Um, but it is fun to learn on your own. It is. Uh, we'll do a guide for it later, uh, separately on your own if you don't want these spoilers. Uh, I find we did it with uh, just two people. Um, you know, just two DPS. And we had our heals, we had our rampart, so it's it's not difficult. It's just learning the mechanics is all. So here we are. Here's uh, our our buddy Don. He's gonna go in and do uh, each of these emotes. So you could also make a macro for this if you um, if you didn't want to type all this out. You can also put these uh, these in order. Bow respect. V pose kneel on your hotbar. And then once you do that, here's the message. You are performing the uh, the rites, place the incense, and then you'll go forward, and then you'll just move forward. So again, we're not going to spoil any of this for you because the boss fight is really fun. Uh, it's not that hard. We did this with a party of three without a healer, so, you know, there you have it. But thank you, everybody, very much for watching uh, my guide through these variant dungeons. I hope you have fun. I hope you get your mounts. Um, again, join our Discord if you need any help with these, have any questions, uh, comment below. And I will see you on the next guide for the actual mechanics of these boss fights. Maka is out.